If your CPU processors are looking something like this, then boys, you need to watch this video till the very end. And if you do, I promise you will be below 100 processors and you will have the lowest delay ever. If you're playing Fortnite, COD, Valorant, it literally does not matter. I'm going to be telling you what services disable, what Windows tweaks to do, and so much more. Boys, let's get straight into it. And first of all, if you're wondering how on earth do I actually see my processors, literally right click on the bottom, go on to Task Manager. Once you're Task Manager, go on to Performance right here go on CPU and right here you're greeted with your processors anything above in my opinion 110 you are actually putting your PC at bottleneck level you should be below 110 and if you are still watch this video because I'll be able to show you some tweaks that you have not done to your PC and now getting straight into it of course at the start it will be a bit basic most of you may have already done this but then we'll get super advanced first of all head over to startup and make sure every single startup app the status is disabled only make sure it's enabled if you're literally one 100% going to use it right when you turn your PC on. Basically what startup apps are right when you turn your PC on. Let's say Microsoft Teams is enabled right here. Microsoft Teams will open up right when you turn your PC on. Obviously you don't want that because sometimes you might forget to close it and then it just runs in the background of your PC and ultimately your processors will be super super high. So make sure you go on to startup every single one disable it. And now moving on to our second tweak what we want to be doing is head over to the search bar right here and search CMD prompt literally command prompt right here. Make sure you run it as administrator press on to yes and make sure it does say administration on the top left only reason is if it doesn't then it's not going to work once you do this head over to the description of this youtube video and join my discord server obviously it's completely free once you join it go over to the announcers page just like so and i've used a cmd prompt code right here optimize cpu performance reduce latency what you have to do is copy this command prompt just like so obviously i'm sorry i can't put it in the description of the youtube video as it's just way too long so once you do that go back onto your cmd once once you've copied it, literally paste it. Once you do this, press enter, and it's super anticlimactic by the way, sometimes you think it's gonna be like loads of code or something, none of that stuff. The operation completed successfully. Just like that, you're getting reduced delay every single time. Now moving on to our third tweak, this is probably the most important of the video. Just before I show it to you by the way, I want to tell you how to get zero ping in every single game you play. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but honestly, Gear Up does that exactly for you. And guess what, there is a free trial by the way, so you don't have to pay a penny. I really do recommend you guys try it out because so many pros are doing it. Literally head over to the description of this YouTube video, press on the gear up link, completely free by the way, and you'll be greeted by this. So if you have high ping normally, open the gear up app, press boost on any game that you play, Valorant, COD, Fortnite, CS2, literally press boost just like so, then it finds the best servers to use to connect to, the best DNS servers, and just like that, your ping will be lowered. And obviously it's completely free, so why not give it a go? Let me know what you guys think of gear up as well down in the comment section. And now you guys got zero ping for completely free from the description, we can move on to our next tweak. And again, for this, we'll have to go into our task manager, just like so. Remember, I showed you how to do it earlier. Now we go onto our services. Now this is so, so important. Every single service right here is on your PC. Now the services that say running are in the background of your PC. Obviously, they are actually running. And this causes your CPU processors to absolutely skyrocket. So I really do recommend you guys, for every single one that I have manual or disabled, to either literally just like me manual it or disable it or every single one I have manualed you can disable it it's completely fine either one so to do this by the way you're going to want to open up services and then to disable it obviously I'm not going to do this for every single one literally just the first one I'll show you how to do it for example the active X right click onto it go onto properties start the type make sure it's disabled if the server status is ongoing quickly stop it then disable it press apply press ok now every single one I have on manual or disable I really do recommend you guys to do the exact same and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to talk through every single one there is a full list in my discord server of which ones you should disable which ones you should manual by the way so make sure you scroll up on the analysis page but unfortunately I will scroll down very slowly you're gonna have to pause the video at certain points obviously unless you're in my discord server you already know all of these stuff and obviously completely free at the end of the day so it's absolutely ridiculous and obviously if there's some you're uncertain about make sure to just leave it alone one or two services that I have enabled or disabled doesn't matter what server 
it's just all of these piling on one top of each other it just makes it absolutely crazy so obviously at certain points you're gonna have to pause it I'll keep scrolling down and obviously I've made so many videos on this but for this video if I talk about the services it's gonna take about 45 20 minutes it's crazy so once we're down at the very bottom just like so I really recommend you guys to copy that exactly how I have now moving on to our next week remember at the end of this video I'm gonna be restarting my PC quickly to see how many processes we actually end on and I really do want you guys to comment your start processes and your end processes at the bottom of this video let's see who can make the biggest difference I'll give some of you a sub back as well once you guys do that head over to search performance literally right here adjust the appearance and performance of Windows click onto it you'll be greeted with this once you guys have this I suppose most of you will have all of these ticked or one or two ticked now I know so many other PC tweakers say to have this tick this tick this tick this ticks I really do think in my opinion it does not matter whatsoever and your PC will look exactly the same but your performance will be a tiny bit better if every single one here is unticked this is how I played this is how so many other pros play as well I'm pretty sure Peterbot the best Fortnite player ever by the way plays with none of these enabled so I really do recommend you guys to give it a go as well once you do this press apply press ok moving on to our next week is what we're going to be doing is system configuration once we're on system configuration the general General, selective startup you want to select the first two because we're not going to be using the original boot configuration once you're on here go on to boot and your timeout boys your timeout needs to be between zero and five seconds the best of the best being zero seconds the worst the slowest PC being five seconds to know your timeout obviously if you have a crazy PC go zero seconds if you have a very bad PC five seconds do not go above five seconds for me I have an average PC so I can go three seconds and obviously if you guys are unsure go into my general chat and discord server at me say Jinshi what timeout do I use and now secondly go on to advanced options number of processors make sure you click the maximum amount boys I can't stress this enough you want every single one of your CPU processors to be working obviously not just one not just just two not just three all of them so make sure you press the maximum amount once you do this press apply press ok obviously at the end of this video you are going to have to restart once you restart then you guys are going to see that your processes are so much lower and one last thing i want to talk you guys through is head over to the search bar and search game mode settings right here game mode settings pops up make it full screen for you guys when game mode is on windows optimizes your pc for play now this is in only certain situations by the way just like i talked to you guys about your seconds your timeout seconds this is very similar in my opinion if you have a low-end pc you should actually have this off it causes a tiny bit of strain in your cpu making it obviously a little bit slower so in actual fact it doesn't optimize your pc to know if you have a ryzen 3 or a ryzen 5 i would personally have this off if you have a ryzen 7 or a ryzen 9 or obviously a good intel processor you can keep this on just like i have it is actually a tiny bit better to have it on if you do have a good cpu and now once you are done with that tweak by the way i'm literally going to restart my pc right now and see what processors i am on start up. and I want all of you guys to do the same and if it's worked please do leave a like and subscribe remember I'm on 174 right now I'm going to restart right now okay boys I've just restarted my PC the only thing I have open is OBS and I am recording so my process will be a tiny bit higher so boys we're going to see what process we have remember I used to have 176 the lower the processes the better I want to be below 110 ideally let's go on to performance and 94 processes boys that is absolutely crazy if you are just like me under 110 processes that is the sweet spot if this worked for you please do leave a like please do subscribe as well